Cadillac's luxury crossover, the SRX, was the brand's best seller. But just like with every other luxury automaker rebranding its model lineup, Cadillac is doing it too. And now it's the SRX's turn, which is now called the XT5. For 2017, the all-new XT5 boasts improvements to luxury, technology, and comfort over the former SRX. But is it the best car in the class? Well, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this all-new 2017 Cadillac XT5. Now, as you can see, the all-new X-T5 shows off Cadillac's new design language with the vampire looking like LED daytime running lights. And you can see that the X-T5 certainly takes influence from the Escalade, the ATS, as well as the CTS too. I really do love the grill on the X-T5 here. It's very premium and elegant, kind of in your face. Certainly gives it a lot of road presence. And then you have these 18-inch alloy wheels that don't offend anybody but they do still look pretty good now when you get into the rear end of the vehicle you have the vertical stack tail lights that also have a vampire type look to them that's a traditional kind of styling cue for the Cadillac brand overall love the look of the XT5 here goes the key fob design for the vehicle pretty premium key fob design you have your remote keyless entry your unlock your lock remote engine start and then your power tailgate and your panic button all right, now our X-T5 wears the dark granite metallic. Very beautiful looking color here. You also do have smart key access on all four doors of the X-T5. And it features a full on black leather interior. And we have your power driver seat controls with your power recline and your power lumbar. All right, now stepping on inside of the new X-T5, gone is a very cheap looking interior in favor of a more rich and premium looking interior that's much more modern looking as well. However, if I was to get the XC5, I would certainly get a different color combination. Um, there's just a lot of black going on inside of here, not a whole lot of contrast. And it just makes it feel austere inside of here. But it's still a very modern looking design, much better than the SRX. And here goes the push button start. All you have to do is put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. And what you're hearing there is a 3.6 liter V6. Of course, you have a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Now, just like with many other modern vehicles nowadays, they're starting to change the gear shifters and make them more confusing. And this is the case with the X-T5. And it kind of reminds me of BMW a little bit. But what I really don't like about the shifter is that you have to pull to the left like this to go into reverse. And I just don't know why they couldn't make it a traditional kind of shifter. And you just go down for drive like that. And then you have your manual mode too. And you go push for park. But you have to press on the unlock button on the left right here on the left side of the shifter to put it into a gear. When you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your rear view camera, and then you have guidance lines and trajectory. Overall, the shifter certainly takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I'm just not a big fan of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards. All windows are fully automatic in the XC5. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. You also do have heated exterior mirrors and blind spot detection. Now compared to the former SRX, the all new X-T5 here went on a diet, shedding about 200 pounds, which in result helps out fuel economy. I really do love the Cadillac symbol they put on the side right here. And you have 18 inch alloy wheels. Halogen projector beam headlights, 
with LED daytime running lights. And you have front parking sensors. All right, now powering the XT5 here is General Motors revised 3.6 liter V6 that produces 310 horsepower at 6,700 RPM and 270 pound-feet of torque at 4,900 RPM, with EPA estimates being an okay 19 in the city and 27 on the highway for our front-wheel drive model. If you go for the all-wheel drive model, fuel economy numbers bump down a little bit. And it does have cylinder deactivation, and if you do go for the all-wheel drive model, you can actually shut off the all-wheel drive system to save a little bit of fuel as well. And when the engine comes to a complete stop, you can also shut off the engine to save a little bit of fuel. It also does have variable valve timing, of course. And a lot of competitors in this class are using turbocharged powertrains, but Cadillac sticked with a traditional 3.6 liter V6. Now some competitors to consider for the XT5 includes the Lexus RX, the Mercedes-Benz GLC, Audi Q5, as well as the BMW X3 and the Lincoln MKX. Now since this is Cadillac's best seller, they still kept the same shape of the old SRX. And in fact, the XT5 and the SRX look quite similar to each other. Coming to the rear of the vehicle, you have LED tail lights with LED turn signals. Rectangular dual exhaust tips too. Do look pretty good. And you have an LED third brake light. Total vehicle price for our particular XT5 is $47,950. EPA estimates, like I said, are 19 in the city and 27 on the highway. And of course, you have all of your basic power necessities, power windows, power mirrors, and your power door locks, memory seat settings for two people. Now, like I said earlier in the video, the XC5 has a very rich and premium looking interior, except for I just don't like this color combination we have here. But it has soft touch materials in all the right places, and you'll find them on the upper door panel, mid door panel, and the armrest, um, center console lid, and this part where you might hit your knees and up on the dashboard it's all soft touch. That's what you expect out of a luxury vehicle. Build quality is much better than the old SRX. There's no creaking materials or anything of that nature. Overall, this is a really nice interior. I'm very impressed with Cadillac. Now, coming to the steering wheel design, love the new steering wheel design. It's very stylish, very modern looking too. And coming over here, we have your heated steering wheel. And then you have your controls for the little information center, which I'll get to in just a second. You also do have your steering wheel mounted audio controls and your cruise control and your voice recognition and your Bluetooth phone controls. Now there's also a lot of advanced safety technologies that you can get on the new X-T5 here, which includes the blind spot detection, as well as adaptive cruise control for collision warning, lane departure warning, all the modern stuff. Up here you also do have auto dimming rear view mirror, your OnStar, and a nice panoramic sunroof that extends all the way to the back with the power sliding shade and you have your sunglass container and your garage home link is right up there and down here you will find a little storage cubby nice and nifty for a little cell phone anything like that then you have dual cup holders and this also closes it's a lid right there then you, right here you have your traction control off button and coming to the center console 
decent amount of space here. And then you also have two USB charging ports down there, as well as an auxiliary input. Not too shabby. Seating comfort in the XT5 is also excellent. These seats are really supportive and they provide a decent amount of side bolstering and thigh support is also pretty good. And you also do have a manual thigh extension down here too, which helps out a lot. Great for long road trips. Um, they are a little on the firm side. I would say that the Lexus RX's seats are a little bit more plush, but these seats are still very comfortable. Now also, a notable feature of the all-new X-T5 is an available streaming rear-view mirror that's a feature that's borrowed from the flagship of Cadillac, the CT6, and it's actually a pretty cool feature. Coming down here, we also do have your climate controls, so you do have dual-zone automatic climate control here. You have your temperatures right here, and I love how they went with traditional kind of buttons here and they work very well they feel very high quality kind of reminds me of mercedes-benz nowadays and you have your fan speeds right here and then your recycling mode and your rear window defroster and your front window defroster and you have your three-staged heated seats now as you may know the cadillac q system which is cadillac's infotainment system hasn't had a whole lot of praise from automotive critics however with this all new xt5 here it's been significantly improved um the responsiveness is much better and there's no lag or anything like that um coming to your audio sources your different audio sources do include all of the norm we have am fm xm satellite radio your different media sources do include your auxiliary input of course bluetooth streaming audio and your USB port with iPod integration. You also do have a home button right here which takes you to the home screen. Then you have your phone, you can hook up your Bluetooth phone, all of that good stuff. We also do have voice recognition. Let's go ahead and test out the voice recognition. Command please. Tune to 101.1 .1 FM. 101.1 .1 FM. The voice recognition does work fairly well in the X-T5 here. You also do have your projection feature, which is for your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. Then you have your settings for the system, time and date, language, valet mode. You also do have the teen driver feature, radio, vehicle, Bluetooth. Pandora internet radio is also on here. You can also control your climate functions if you don't want to do it from the buttons down here. Then you have your weather. You can check your weather. It gives you a five day forecast. You can change the location or you could do hourly if you would like. Let me go to the navigation. Coming to the navigation system. The nav is okay. The rendering is okay. Um, it's nothing that wows me here. However, it does have live traffic and it does have your points of interest, shows you traffic incidents, all that good stuff. You can enter in your destination by voice or manually putting it in by address or intersection. Then you have your SMS text messaging function. Of course, you have to have a phone connected. OnStar, and then you have your traffic white right here, which shows you a huge um, list of all the traffic incidents and all that good stuff. Overall, love the Cadillac Q system. It's been improved, like I said, for this all new XT5 and it works much better. Now the whole instrument cluster for the XT5 has a pretty traditional kind of setup. However, I'm really not a big fan of the tick marks. Um, they're pretty small to read, I have to say, but the font on the numbers are pretty good and big and bold. Um, coming on the left, we have your tachometer. Right here, you have your speedometer. Then you have your fuel gauge and your coolant temperature is located right there. And then coming to that information center, it's all controlled by the buttons on the steering wheel. And you can change your radio station from here if you would like. You have your fuel economy data. Shows you your average fuel economy, instant fuel economy. You also do have your fuel range right here and your direction of travel. Shows you efficiency gauge. And if you have a phone connected, you can make telephone calls from here. 
then your audio, you can change your audio source, and your direction of travel again, and you have your digital speedometer, and it shows you traffic road signs too, for what speed limits they are. Pretty cool. Then you have your options, you can change the units, you have info pages, open source software too. Overall, love this little information center. The graphics and the rendering are okay. Wish it was just slightly bigger, however. We also do have rain sensing windshield wipers too. And visibility in the X-T5 is okay. It's not the best in its class, but it's all right. Um, there's a decent amount of side glass area on the front windows. The eight pillars are kind of thin and seeing all the windshield is okay too. When you get to rearward visibility, however, it's a little hard to see back there. The rear quarter window is pretty small and there's a pretty big blind spot. Now the X-T5 also features a 14 speaker Bose surround sound system and the audio quality is great. And I'm gonna go show you guys right here. Even if it's on silent, I love that. With Tile and the Tile app, finding your things is easy. For a limited time, go to GetMyTile.com for up to 40% savings and free shipping. This offer is only available when you order direct. At As you can see, it's very crisp and clear, and it sounds amazing especially in person. Now, as far as the way the X-T5 drives, now, Cadillac didn't really change a whole lot um, when it comes to the driving dynamics for the vehicle compared to the SRX. They still are pretty much the same. However, the ride is much smoother in the X-T5, and it's not as stiff as the old SRX, but as far as the way it handles and everything, it's still very similar to the SRX. Now, it doesn't feel like a rolling couch or anything like that, and you can feel for where this vehicle is trying to go, but it's certainly not a sporty crossover here. It's not something you will want to twist around corners or anything like that, and it's not really nimble feeling either. This is more of a luxury highway cruiser, and if you're looking for a sporty crossover, go with the Audi Q5 or the BMW X3. Those vehicles are much better when it comes to driver engagement. However, if you're looking for a quiet highway ride and a very comfortable ride quality, then the X-T5 will certainly satisfy. The 3.6 liter V6 also provides a decent amount of power um, for this vehicle. However, some other vehicles like the BMW X3 and the Lincoln MKX provide turbocharged engines which have that grunt to them. However, this 3.6 liter V6 is refined and pulls this vehicle around smoothly. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the X-T5. Build quality and materials follow through in the rear. Still very nice and high quality back here. Now, as you can see, the X-T5 is only a five passenger crossover. If you're looking for a seven passenger crossover, you have to go elsewhere. But an alternative is the Cadillac Escalade, which can sit up to seven people. Now sitting back here, it's very comfortable in the X-T5. There's lots of room, lots of leg room, and decent amount of headroom too. And it's not as roomy as the Lexus RX, but it's not as big as that vehicle either. But you do have dual map pockets back here, rear air vents, and you have a little storage compartment. And we do have two USB charging ports for the family back there. And you have dual cup holders and a rear center armrest. And the seats are really comfortable. Great for long road trips. Love this panoramic sunroof. This do have LED map lights. All right. Now the X-T5 lags behind some of its competitors when it comes to cargo space, like the Lexus RX. However, there's still a decent amount here. Now the seats back here do fold down 60-40 split by pulling up on these or by pulling on these levers right here. It's a very simple mechanism as you can see. And then you also do have your spare tire right here too. And a 12 volt power outlet. Like I said, you do have a power tailgate. Power 
power passenger seat with your power recline and power lumbar. Glove box compartment in line with felt. You also do have a little storage cubby down here with a 12 volt power outlet. So the Cadillac XT5 builds upon the recipe of the Cadillac SRX and it certainly still should be a best seller for Cadillac with all of these improvements to luxury, comfort and technology. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.